Hey, yo, what's up? What's up? Y'all already know it's your boy City. You know what I'm saying? I'm back dropping a dance hall tutorial. You know what I'm saying? That dance hall type shit. So I'm making a dance hall beat using this plugin that I got from Contact. It's a part of the Contact library. It's called Irish Harp. You know what I'm saying? Got it off that um free bundle they be dropping for the holidays. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go cop that off their website. For real, for real. So y'all already know I haven't been posted in a while. So, you know. I'm going to drop something that y'all see. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know what's up. So, let's get to it. Um, First things first, you know what I'm saying? I got this Irish harp. And I got the melody down. You know what I'm saying? Um, Got the melody down already. Um, I don't remember what scale I got this shit on. Yeah, G sharp minor. I have it on G sharp minor. Yeah, I like having it um, up here. Yeah, I like having it up here. Yeah, I already did a few drums and stuff like that, but I'm gonna go through that shortly. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go through that shortly. Also, um, like this is pretty low. Like there we go. All right. Um, what was I saying? All right, so I got the Irish harp, you know what I'm saying, made it on G-sharp minor. Also, to create the melody like this, um, I had it on one-third beat, you know what I'm saying? So I have it on one-third beat. So these empty spaces right here, I just like, you know what I'm saying? I just live with it, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how I did it. Next thing that I have, I had the rim. You know what I'm saying? A rim shot. You know what I'm saying? Then I had a second one to it, but this one is the same, but um, I put it up to a higher octave and not as, you know, chopped it a little bit. saying so I'm a do a little you know what I'm saying um panning to those you know and say I'm gonna do a little panning to this one right here because um I want to make sure I have it uh, going ear to ear um let's see or I could just let's see I could keep that on regular. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna put these here, and I'm gonna level my sounds as usual. Cause you know we gotta, you know what I'm saying, gotta level that. Alright, so this is the Irish harp. Alright, everything is just gonna go in it. What the hell? Alright, there we go. And then I'm gonna go to the kick shortly. I'm gonna mess with the hi hats a little bit. Good. All right, 
that sounds good. All right, so for the Irish harp, you know what I'm saying? I had the EQ, you know what I'm saying? In the midsection, I just cut it down a little bit. I'm bringing the number five man in the same mid section. The high mid range, I cut it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cut the bass and it's, it's subbing the bass out. Lowering the number one band right here. You know what I'm saying? Reverb's kind of too loud, so I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. And that sound too dry. So I'm gonna add an 808 to it. Um, let me go real quick to the essential essentials kit right here that I got. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna use that because I don't want to be having too much distortion on my 808s. Yeah, I like that. All right, so for this I have. All right, oh, it's on C. Alright, I'll probably mess around with that, change it, spread it down in the video or something. Alright, so these notes, C sharp. to do one thing gotta always tune my 808s you feel me i always gotta tune that section right here if you notice I kind of change the timing for the 808 and the kick so you know it'll be hitting different right here so it gives it that uh type of off key or I wouldn't say off key but it's on key it's on point but it gives it that bounce <laughs> Probably change the root, the key note or root note, or uh, right, that D sharp. Put that on. There. Make sure I save that. I didn't even give it a name as yet. Uh, let me, um, um, should I pull up contact again? I don't think it has sounds that I want. Let me pull up contact again real quick. You know what I'm saying? That contact seven. Um, yeah. Um, I got a uh, play series hybrid keys. All right, so let me drop that on D sharp. Alright, I copy the same pattern and see what, see what I can do with it. I keep that number seven, but I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Alright, so I'm 
make that a bass. And I'll probably just like, you know what I'm saying, put to the side real quick. And um, yeah, EQ is going to be the vocal point for this. put that um matter of fact let me try to shape a box effect on it and see what I can do. Alright so I'm gonna go up here I mean yeah, the timing 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 uh let me uh, probably not. Let me, um, what is that one that I always be using? Yeah, I think this one, but I'm gonna turn this off. Probably turn it back on. I think I should have this straight right there. This section. Mm. Let me put that. Let me get a half time on it. I need to understand shape of box a little bit more than I just start using. Alright, um, half. Sounds good, sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. Now, that shit too harsh. I'm gonna go down here on the West Coast kits. I think one of these got on the soft open hats. I'll probably use this one. Eight. Yeah, I forgot to drop this other contact. It's hybrid keys, so I'll make sure I label that. You know what I'm saying? I always make sure I label that real quick. All right, so number seven. Yeah. <laughs>
kind of have something like, go, mm, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of have that repetitive type of feeling right now, too much. Um, uh, the type of sound that I'm looking for. Hmm. I'm going to go with a stock plugin on this one. Epic Cards TE. There we go. Sometimes it's good to be familiar with certain sounds so that whenever you're doing something, you can always, like, you pick it up and say, all right, I'm going to use this. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to always have that. Hopefully it works, though. All right, hopefully. Hopefully. Cut it out like they get that like thin type of feel. Got that reverb. You know what I'm saying? Get that, that ambient vibe. Then where that phase are at? Where that phase are at? Oh uh, snap. Am I looking am I am I even looking in the right place? I even got phase mistress right here. I could use this. Activated. Hold on. Where is that? Oh, it's right here. It's a little bit thin. Probably change that for a little bit. Um, Thing at um, I think it's in this one and somewhere in yeah, something like. That. I'm not feeling the laser at all. All right, I feel like basically it's just it right here. It's not much sounds to it. You know what I'm saying? Like dancehall, that trap dancehall, it's not really too much sound and all that. This is like 
something you just go crazy with probably a little freestyle or probably something that you want to like spit and go crazy with like something simple but fire you already know so Good timing too. Basically 21, 22 minutes. Yeah, good timing. That sound just be different. I love that sound. Bro. I'm saying that sound just be different. knob right here it gives it that stereo vibe like your stereo separation or merge to get like put it in mono or stereo like go to the left you gotta get that stereo feel you know what i'm saying but if you go to the right go straight down it gives it that mono type feel you know what i'm saying i can have it a little bit mono because it's probably too much stereo so have it a little bit mono right here you know what I'm saying? You can do these things to help with your mixes as well. This is probably something I haven't said before, I haven't done in tutorials before. Like, I could probably do a mixing tutorial and dance all beat and then probably show y'all. You know what I'm saying? But this helps a lot, especially with the stereo wideness or monitor phase. If you have a sound that's too stereo or you're probably trying to cut your sounds a little bit and it's not working, you just, you know what I'm saying? If it's clashing with other sounds or something like that, you can just use this knob right here and just give that a little mono feel. <laughs> That's basically it for this tutorial. I'm saying how I make a beat using Contact Irish Harp. Y'all already know what's up using that new sound from Contact. Y'all go cop that free for the time being before Contact changed their thing. You know what's up. You know how we do. Shout out to shout out to Contact for that. You know what's up. All right. So basically that's it for this tutorial. Hope y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, run them subscribers up. Y'all already know what's up. Thank you.